Hi, friends. I'm so glad you're here. We are almost ready to begin. Before we do, I want to invite you to participate. Share your ideas with me in real time during the show. We'd also love for you to be part of the kid team. You can record videos, snap photos, and more to be part of future episodes. After the show, head over to wimmy.tv slash you to learn more about this and more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. so glad you're here. Hey, let's get rolling. I would love for you to share with me something that is yellow or something blue. For example, bananas are yellow. Bananas are something yellow. Bananas are something yellow. Bananas are something yellow, which nobody can deny. <laughs> they start out green though, right? Because they're still ripening. But yeah, I think it's pretty universal. We think of bananas as yellow share with us something that's yellow or blue i'll go with the i mean blueberries would be a good one for oh my goodness emily <laughs> we are in sync i love it blueberries are something blue blueberries are something blue blueberries are something blue which nobody can deny <laughs> it's even in their name blueberries oh lemons lemons are something yellow yellow <laughs> God, I made a mistake. I said yellows are something yellow. Lemons are something yellow. Yellows are something... <laughs> I did it again. Oh, man, friends. This is tricky. Are you singing this at home with me? Try to sing it. I'll focus on lemons are something yellow. Here we go. Sing with me. Lemons are something yellow. Lemons are something yellow. Lemons are something yellow. Which nobody can deny. <laughs> did it, friends. Ooh, a chair. Ooh, ooh I, this is exciting. This is fun. Okay, ready? Chairs can be yellow. Chairs can be blue. Chairs can be yellow or blue, which nobody can deny. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Do you have a yellow chair, a blue chair, a red chair, a green chair? Maybe you got a chair with all the colors. <laughs> lemonade. Okay, ready? Lemonade is something yellow. Lemonade is something yellow. Lemonade is something yellow. Unless it's pink lemonade. <laughs> That's fun because that's pink, yellow. Um, yeah, friends, put the uh, put your words in the comments. Comment down below. I want to involve your idea. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Good to see you. Let's do one or two more. Something yellow something blue we got blueberries the sky now actually is the sky blue i've heard it's a reflection of the ocean and then is the ocean blue which is blue the ocean or the sky hmm. maybe if you have the answer to that post that in the comments because i'm still trying to figure that out how about a blue hmm. cars can be blue i'll do that cars can be blue cars can be blue cars can be blue which nobody can deny. Yeah, you know, because it would just be, hey, that's a blue car. Now, it might be a shade of blue. You might be like, wait a minute, is that blue green? Is that aqua? Is that teal? Is it purple or blue? <laughs> that's what I love about colors. There's so many colors. Well, friends, I hope you keep singing this song later. Feel free to keep posting comments of things that are blue or yellow. Who knows? Maybe we'll put it in the show later. I'm glad you're here. Spread the word. Uh, right now, if you want to take a moment and be like, hey, friends. Wimmy's live! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get, let's get, let's get moving along. Uh, it is time. For, oh man, we got a piece of art today. We're gonna explore. Phyllis is here to uh, help uh, help me explore this. I wonder what it is. <laughs> okay, ready, friends? It's time for exploring art. Hi, Phyllis. 
Hey, Weemy, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited to find out about today's art. Hey, do you have anything yellow or blue? Um, I do. I oh, do. Yeah, what you got? I love your song. Uh, so my dress is blue. <gasps> Phyllis's dress is blue. Phyllis's dress is blue. Want to sing a duet? Phyllis's yes. dress is blue. And now Which nobody can deny. deny. <laughs> Amelia says that the sky is blue because light bounces off the stuff in the sky oh. and reflects blue light. Amelia, thank, thank you for you. sharing that. Thank you, Amelia. Man. <laughs> well, Phyllis, are yes. we ready to explore? You and I together are going to explore this piece of art. I'm oh. so excited. Art Let's... is the way. Oh, I love it. I love it. So it's it's called Flight in Mirror by Shirley Woodson, right? Yes. Oh, oh. Let's do it. Um, yes. What, what do you notice, Phyllis? So, Weemy. Yeah. Uh, and Weemy and friends at home, please come explore art with us. Art just makes me so happy. Art is beautiful. So let's go ahead and explore it together. Uh, oh, well, Weemy, sir. tell me yeah. what you see in the far right hand corner. Oh, far. Oh, I see a person. And what makes you say that, Weemy? Oh. Well, because I see eyes and nose and the mouth and then the shape of the body with a hand. Yeah. It's a person. Yeah. Um, good noticing that with me. A horse, <gasps> Emily. And why do you say it's a horse? Ooh, uh, well, the, like the person, it's the shape. I see the shape of the, of the jaw, the ears, the nose, the eyes. Interesting and great noticing. Beautiful. And what about uh, to the far left hand corner? Hmm. What do you notice? And friends at home, please, this is come explore with us. This is a beautiful piece. It's so vibrant. In the left, I see shapes that remind me of flowers. And why do you think it's a flower, Weemy? Boy, I and think flowers have petals in the shape. It looks like there's lots of them that all go to the center. Yes, VF Arts. Yes, yes, Dr. Charlie Woodson. Um, and Amira, Emily, hmm. Amira, interesting. Amira. Why do you think it's Amira? Hmm. It, 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 so there's a person on the right that we talked about, and is that her reflection maybe on the on the left? That's inter interesting. And and uh, what is, is, what's on our head? Does uh, our viewers and Wimmy, do you see anything could on it her head? Be like a hat or a headpiece? Good noticing. Let's, uh, any friends at home that want to share anything that they notice on this beautiful piece? I love the colors. I was just thinking that. I noticed that they're, it's kind of detailed enough for us to see what we were thinking is a person in a horse, but yet it's also pretty, pretty broad strokes like it's almost like finger painting yes uh, great noticing um what else do you see in the picture friends at home come explore with us it's art day art afternoon what a better day a jacket. a jacket interesting a jacket i Why? think the person the person is wearing one because it's it, when when i see people with clothes right it's around their shoulders a jacket go like you put your arms through it oh yeah yeah i see the hand coming out of one side good noticing emily and what else what else do you see in the picture i love how it's moving slowly so we can all see it explore well, I, I, you know i think someone it was emily who said a a, a mirror and then, yeah i see the whole shape that reminds me of a shape of a mirror in my bathroom yes the color over the jacket. Interesting. Good noticing, Emily. Color. Hmm. And we mean, what is behind the color? What color is that I behind see. the color? See, oh, yellow. Like I was singing at the start. Yellows and blues. I see lots of yellows and blues. <laughs> I noticed you love yellow, so I had to ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> yellow, what I feel the... happy with yellow. Yes. What are the shapes of the yellow? viewers uh, friends at home such are a those, beautiful piece i want to touch it are, are those clouds up above in the back interesting hmm. in in the color that you like we me <gasps> yellow clouds oh, oh there's kind of like it feels like the they're the person and the horse are floating in clouds maybe 
<laughs> Beautiful. What else? What else? Let's explore mm. some more. Uh, right above that flower petal, we meet that you noticed. Beautiful noticing. What mm. what is that shape? Do you do you see? Oh, good question, Rita. Is it clouds or birds? Ooh. Is it clouds or birds? The the one right up, kind of just above the what we think is the mirror, just on top to the left, that looks like the shape of a bird. A bird. Great noticing, Rita. Great noticing. Hmm. Well, it, and oh, I see. It's it's called flight of the mirror. So the title makes me wonder if it is a mirror in 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 their. But it doesn't say anything about a horse. But in the title, but it, oh, they might be in the sea. Beautiful, Jackson. Oh. Good noticing. That's interesting. Interesting, Jackson. Yeah. And uh, what else? Let's keep looking. What else do we notice in this? I wonder if the person is riding the horse because they're kind of sitting and or hugging the horse. Interesting. I'm doing that emoji. People love that. Interesting. Oh, oh the horse. Oh, Shabo. Shabo. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Shabelli. Good noticing. Nice. I see nice this in the sky. sky. Interesting. I love that observation. A great observation. I wonder Such... if it is eyes. I wonder whose whose eyes could they belong to. <gasps> One looks kind of. It reminds me of like a dragon eye on the top left above what we think is a flower. <coughs> it's got like a straight line, like a cat or a um or a nice. dragon. Wow. That, that, that was, was so cool. That was so cool. And everybody noticed different things. Their eyes on their hat as well. Jackson, good noticing. Art is so beautiful. I know. How do you feel? I'm curious, uh, Phyllis. I know I, I, I kind of, well, I don't want to say how I feel yet. How do you feel as you look at that whole piece as a whole? Warm, fuzzy feelings, beauty, and like the world is okay for a minute. I was just thinking of like peaceful. When you say the world is okay, I was thinking like peaceful. It's like in the clouds or the sea or floating and hmm. birds and mirror. Yeah. Just I wonder, art. I wonder what inspired the artist. Do you have any theories of what may have inspired? And we're going to um, get to uh, our friend Valerie in a moment from the DIA. Oh, she knows some information, but I'm just curious before we go to her. Before we go, I, we you know what, I'm artists? thinking maybe the artist was thinking of flying into the uh, clouds and one in a happy moment. So they just, you know what I mean? Like, that's what yeah. I feel. Yeah, I was thinking the artist was just feeling joy, explosion. I bet the artist likes horses, I think. I don't, I don't know. They have to. The horse looked really beautiful and real. I know. Okay, okay, I love it, I love it. Well, Miss Phyllis, thanks so much. We're going to see you later on the show as we play some games. Excited. Thank you, Amy. So awesome hanging out with you and exploring uh, with you and our viewers. Right? I love all the comments, friends. Thanks. Keep sharing uh, observations and questions. But right now, friends, we get to go live from the DIA with Valerie, who's the DIA, uh, DIA curator and the department head of the Center for African American Arts. Hi, Valerie. Hi there, Bambi. So good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. Ooh, ooh, real quick. Amelia thinks that painting might be a dream. Oh, you know about this piece of art and the artist, right? Yes. How do you I feel do. about what we've noticed so far? Are we? Do you? Oh, think I we're... think you've uh, you've uh, done a good job uh, of uh, noticing a number of important things. Yeah. Uh, we we all can interpret uh, some of these images in different ways, and that's okay. But um, this painting, Flight with Mirror, which uh, Shirley Woodson painted in 2014, belongs to a series of paintings having to do with uh, the theme of um, Shield of the Nile. Uh, and these are sort of her reflections on that subject. Cool. The Nile is seen as a sort of um, symbol for... Um, people of the, who are descendants of the um, African diaspora, uh, the Nile is important as um, a symbol of uh, nurturing, a symbol of uh, security, a symbol of transformation, but a lot of good things. So the Ni that's what she's referring to in this painting and in other paintings in this series. Most of the figures like this one, they're in the water. Uh, which is not easy to paint, 
but that was part of her uh, Shirley's challenge. And, uh, you know, trying to make it look uh, transparent sometimes and sometimes translucent. Uh, she puts the horse as well in the water with the human figure, which I believe is a female. And uh, her head is wrapped in a hat or a scarf. Uh, but uh, Shirley does like horses. So they appear in a number of her paintings. You know, um, it, it's what we call a motif. Motif. It becomes a motif in her art, and she sometimes goes back to those same motifs. But this is based on the subject of, um, uh, you know, a famous uh, biblical theme, flight into Egypt. Uh, and so that just inspired her to do this. But she's uh, making reference here to flight with the mirror, because the mirror appears as well in her a lot of her paintings, just like the horse does. And for Shirley, she puts a mirror in her paintings with um, a, a face in it that really has no features. And that face really stands for us. She, she wants the viewer to feel that they can enter the painting, that they're just not outside of it, that they're part of the painting. Um, and in many ways, her paintings are very much about her, her, uh, her, her life, her family, uh, her being a Detroiter, her loving, uh, her, her work. She's been an, a painter for about 60 years. And so she has lots of paintings, but I picked out this, um, this particular series with these vibrant colors because I just love these very bright, uh, you know, blues and reds and yellows, yeah. which I think make all of us feel happy when we look at them. Yeah. Oh, a friend watching the show has a question. Jackson wants to know, why are there eyes in this painting? Well, I think that's how Jack Jackson reads some of the forms. Okay. I don't read those forms as eyes, but that's okay if yeah. Jackson reads them as eyes. Yeah. You know, we, we if we're the artists, we can interpret these forms how, however we want. Uh there's no strict rule about it, but some things look a certain way to some of us and and maybe another person doesn't agree. But I, I can see some of those forms, but um, knowing the the paintings in this series and all and this one, too, I don't see eyes. I do certainly see clouds. I see um, how she merges sort of uh, abstract forms as well as figurative forms, but everything has this expressionistic quality, the way she, in which she uses her brush, you know, to make yeah. things um, so, sort of more loose, you know, the forms are more loose, the yeah. color is loosely applied, but the whole thing, I think, makes us feel good when we look at it. And there's a certain amount of mystery, you know, there's some elements that are somewhat enigmatic <laughs> to, yeah. to us, but that's okay too. Yeah, well, I love what you you've shared in in what you know from the art in the context of the other art that was made by this artist, and I love how you said that. Yeah, it, it could be interpreted in, in from one person, and it doesn't mean it's wrong. But then wondering yeah. what the artist in, in, in intended is so cool. And um, oh, man, that that mirror you got me thinking when you said the reflection is is kind of a general reflection versus yes. the particular person. Oh, I, that's cool. Wow. So yeah. have you ever met Shirley in person? Oh, yeah. I've been oh. working with Shirley for about almost, almost uh, not quite a year yet, but close to a year. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So can, can friends go to the DIA and see some of Shirley's oh. artwork right now? Oh, yeah. Her exhibition that includes this particular painting, Flight with Mirror, uh, that exhibition is on view until June 12th in the Central Galleries right off of Rivera Court. You know, just behind the murals, there are galleries. So you yeah. could just, you know, look at the uh, Rivera uh, murals. Of course, they're always wonderful. But right behind them are these galleries. And that's where Shirley's paintings are. There are about 11 of them. And they're wow. big. And I, I was just going to ask, how the piece that we were just looking at, how big is it on the actual painting, roughly? Oh. Or do you know? Um, I can't think of the measurements offhand, but most of the paintings in the show are large. You know, so but not gigantic, cool. but okay. definitely large. Yeah. And 
but it makes uh, um, us feel somewhat um, uh, included in the painting, like engulfed in the painting yeah. and in the water. You know, what's fascinating too is she said at this particular point in time, but even pre preceding this, it, she was often attracted to water. She <laughs> needed to paint it, even though she said, I'm not a water person. <laughs> hmm. I don't do water sports. I hardly ever go to the beach, but I liked painting water. And water seemed to have some special significance for her. Some of these things surely will interpret for you. Sometimes she keeps to herself. She She's an absolutely lovely person, but she's got all these years of experience. You know, she's, she's uh, about 80... 86 years old oh, so cool. uh but she's uh just uh wonderful to listen to talk about her work and especially her creative process i love it i love it valerie thank you so much for sharing all this information and insight and i hope to be at the dia and see this work in person <laughs> I'll, I'll be looking for you Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, stick around, Valerie. We're going to play some games. Ha <laughs> ha Friends at home, we are going to play a game, and I want you to follow along and see if you can come up with the same kind of ideas and rhymes in your head, because we're going to play Make a Rhyme. Okay, friends, this is how it's going to work. I'll come up with the first word, and then you... Guess it, Ryan. We'll go in clockwise order. Ready, Phyllis? Ready, Valerie? Friends at home watching? Yes. Here we go. Yes. My first word for you, Phyllis, is blue. Ooh. Blue. <gasps> that rhymes. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> okay. Um. Nosh. My word then is going to be gosh. <gasps> you know, like when you're surprised or yeah, gosh. Oh, that's so cool, that's so cool. Hey, Phyllis, will you teach me? Uh, nosh, what, that word is awesome. What does that mean? So it means to eat. And it's like, uh, it's spelled as N-O-S-H. And somebody came up with an idea of having a nosh and wash. So having a laundromat where you can eat and wash. <gasps> Oh, that's so fun! I just fun. I would love to go to a nosh and wash. Oh, and then there might be a mosh. <laughs> oh gosh! Okay, okay, I forgot. I boost her. I got distracted. It's uh, okay. Valerie's word for okay. me to rhyme. Water. Water. Um. Oh, this is a tricky one. Water. Uh, I'm. I wanted to. Someone said I taught her a word. <laughs> I, I, that was two words. To, oh, oh, I got one. I got one for real now. Daughter rhymes with water. <laughs> got it. That was fun. That was fun. Okay. Okay. Now, Phyllis, guess a rhyme for um, house. Oh, house. Um, house. Um, mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that rhymes. You get it. Okay. Your turn. Now, see, Valerie said, uh, uh, what did she She said? The one that you said before, water, I'm going to say otter. <gasps> the animal. Oh, an otter. Oh, these are tricky ones. An otter. Otter. Oh, Ooh, I'll give you a clue, Valerie. I got an idea. A famous character named Harry Potter. Ah! <laughs> you know awesome. Thank you. Thank oh, you for man. that clue. Oh, you're That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, you guys kept us on our toes with some awesome <laughs> words. I love it. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, totter! That rhymes with otter. Right. <laughs> teeter totter. Yeah, teeter totter. That's what I was thinking of. It. Now. Oh man, so, so fun. So the word I'm going to uh, give you is uh, how about uh, dimples? Because I'm <gasps> looking at Phyllis, and she just has oh. these great dimples. Oh, dimples! <laughs> Thank and you. And, and sometimes Dimple. rhyming words isn't so simple. <laughs> 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 oh man, this is I, I, we should keep playing. How long can we play? Oh, Miss Stephanie's. Oh, pimple. yeah, yeah. People? Did you say people? pimple, we mean? Oh, pimple! Oh. <laughs> With dimple? That's oh, good. man. Man, you guys are experts at this game. We could. We should start a whole episode, like make the rhyme like a full show. <laughs> and we'll take it on the road. Oh. <laughs> the Phyllis and Valerie rhyming show. <laughs> 
I'm just having fun. You guys are awesome. Hey, you guys ready to see a uh, uh, Moby, a friend of mine? He's gonna share with us a little bit because I noticed in the painting, Valerie, there was a lot of yellow, right? Um, in in Miss um, <coughs> uh, uh, in Shirley's painting. Yeah, Miss, yeah, I was thinking Woodson, right? Uh -huh. um, she Woodson. she used a lot of yellow up at yes. the top. Yes, for the clouds of all things. Yeah. That is. Do you know why she chose the color yellow for the clouds for the top? Any theories? It really has go? more to do with how she feels about the clouds. You know, yes, she knows that clouds are are often white, yeah. and sometimes tinged with a little bit of pink. But this is a reflection of how she feels about the cloud. So I think I the it. clouds make her feel good. So yellow is a c color she uses for that. I love it. I love it. Well, my friend Moby is is here to share with us a little bit about his thoughts on yellow. Okay. <laughs> I was just reading that the color yellow is one of the easiest colors to see. That's so cool. Yeah, that's why it's used on safety vests, taxi cabs, and on signs to get our attention. Yeah, yellow is bright and warm like the sun. It's happy, like a smiley face. And it's yellow is pretty, like birds and flowers. And it's delicious, like lemons, bananas. <laughs> what things can you find that are yellow? Woohoo! Thanks, Moby! I love it. It's time for Find It Fast! Okay, friends, we need to find something that starts with H. There was a horse in that painting. Horse starts with H. Let's find something that flies. Hmm. That horse and person were flying in the clouds. It was called Flight with mirror and there's a lot of blue moby was talking about yellow let's right now though find something blue friends at home see if you can find any of those things let's see what starts with h house oh that was in our rhyme house let's check in with phyllis to see if she has found any of those items did you find anything phyllis something with your favorite color with me yellow orange juice oh that looks delicious oh I love it. Thanks, Miss Phyllis. Friends, post in the comments if you find any of these things. Something that starts with H, something that flies, or something blue. Let's go to Valerie, see if she has found any of those items. Did you find anything, Valerie? I would, how about a uh, hand starts with H, hand? It does, it does. <laughs> I love it. Hand starts with H. Ooh, Jackson says hawk. Hawk does start with H, and it could fly. And if it's a blue hawk, it's all three. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, are the blue hawks? I'll have to do research on that. I love it. Friends, keep sharing with us something that you find that starts with H, like house. Henry, anybody know someone named Henry? <laughs> something that flies. Ooh, maybe there's a fly in your in your house going that's more of a summer thing. Um, maybe it's a paper airplane. Maybe it's something blue, like ooh, we were talking earlier about the ocean. Ocean or sky. Oh, a blue heron. Ha ha. Now that's kind of cool because that could be all three. Heron starts with H. It's a type of heron, a blue heron. It's blue and it flies. Oh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> well, friends, thanks for playing. Find it fast. Oh, this has been a great show. Thanks for being with us. I'm glad you were here. We're going to have our dance party to wrap things up. So if you want to dance along with us, please do. Da Valerie and Phyllis and I, we're going to dance and invite you to dance with us. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, Phyllis, I love the blue. Yeah. <laughs> that looks uh, that's so cool. Oh, freeze. And dance. Oh, freeze. Oh, and dance. Oh, man, this music's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, <laughs> thanks for joining us live from the DIA. My Inspiring. pleasure. Thank Ins you. Of course, of course. Inspiring art, conversation, exploration, music, and games. Thanks, friends.
Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. 